75-72. It was a game that no one who was there will ever forget. Oregon City outlasted Sunset in the first round of the playoffs. The Pioneers prize for surviving that score fest, a second round matchup against Clackamas. The team that scored more points than anybody else this year. Remember these Mount Hood Conference teams? They met just three weeks ago. A 57-27 win for Clackamas. What's good, everyone? I'm Orlando Sanchez. Welcome to Friday Night Flights. We've got to start the show with Oregon City and Clackamas, the hometown Cavaliers, looking to keep their perfect season going. Both teams, they came out fired up, exchanging touchdowns on their opening drives. The game tied at seven, and Mitchell Majeski with the jump ball to Cole Turner. Cavaliers take the lead, but here comes Oregon City. Ethan Kassabaum right up the gut. He's into the house. Okay, so you got to see this play. Majeski channeling his inner Russell Wilson. No one can bring him down. No! Are you kidding me? Here it is. Flips it to Chad Bledko. Bang! Trucks his way to the house. I think they call that a top play nominee. It was a close game, but Clackamas stays undefeated. Final count, 41-33. Central Catholic down in Eugene to face Sheldon. Irish up 17-0 before Central Catholic came alive. That's Greg Curtis who punched it in. Then Elijah Elliott works his way through the middle, and he gone. Touchdown Central Catholic, cutting that Sheldon lead to just three. Sheldon's star quarterback, Michael Johnson, he didn't play in this game and the Rams come from behind to win it. Central Catholic, 28, Sheldon, 24. The Rams advance to face Clackamas. Top-seeded Lake Oswego had no problem over Jefferson in the first round. They faced off against Sherwood for the second time this year. The Lakers won the first matchup in week six by 11 points. This one, it wouldn't be as close. Sky 8 overhead in Lake Oswego. This is the type of night it was for the visiting Bowman. Already down 28-0 in the third quarter. Sherwood goes for it on fourth down. Wyatt Zettelmoyer scrambling for his life. Oh, it's incomplete. But a few plays later, Lake O's Alex Bassett takes the handoff. He wouldn't be denied. Puts the Lakers up 35-0. They go on to win it 45-0. Lake Oswego moving on to the quarterfinals. They'll face off with the winner of this one, Jesuit and Sprague, the Crusaders doing work. Check this out, Trey Lowe, oh no he didn't. The UW commit for the touchdown. That just ain't right, Trey Lowe. Jesuit leading 49 nothing, go on to win it big. 56 to seven is your final. McNary beat Grant's pass last week, earning them a trip to West Lynn. We needed a little less effort to get out to this one. Sky 8 giving us a beautiful shot on a foggy night down in West Lynn. On the ground, the fog was a factor for my camera. These guys though, they didn't mind it. Okay, let's go. Junior Walling, you're on Friday Night Flights, brother. Dives in for six to put McNary on the board. Yeah, it's good. But that just made the defending champs mad. How about some Ethan Long? Deep. Hooks up with Kawi and Sasa. 45 yards to the crib. And Sasa not even phased by that fog. Westland rolls. 41-6. You remember this from just a couple of weeks ago? A power outage forced rivals Tualatin and Tiger to play one game in two different stadiums. Last night they met again with their seasons on the line. Sky 8 providing the views. You got to see this. Kyle Dernity goes for the end zone. But Tigers, Skyler Holloway, this is just a great heads up play. I promise you it's there. The scrum, he ends up with it. And that set up Drew Carter. He'll take it from there. Go ahead, get some young fella. Tiger goes on to win 38-17. They get Westland again next week. A rematch from week six, which Tiger won nine nothing. More second round action. Grant heading south to face the West Salem Titans. Let's hit the black hole down in Salem. This was a fun one. Grant gets the scoring underway to Marcus Singleton Jr. Out of the pocket to Grant Ewell. General's up seven nothing. Are you smelling an upset here? 
West Salem, though, answers. Jacob Denning punches it in. That ties the game at seven. So we head to later in the first half. Grant driving again. Singleton buying some time. There's his main man, Marcus Harris, hiding in the corner of the end zone. Grant took a 14-7 lead in the half, but West Salem takes care of business in a back and forth game. Titans with the W, 33-24. They'll face the winner of this game. Lincoln on the road against the South Medford Panthers. Home team up by 14 before Lincoln got on the board. That's Nick Osmo. Slips a couple of tackles there to get the score. Cardinals cut the lead in half, but South Medford responds. Robbie Patterson tosses it up to this freak of an athlete receiver, Chase Coda. What an acrobatic catch. How do you do that? Panthers rolled to a 42-14 win. They've got to come up north next week. In the 5A ranks, Lebanon visiting Wilsonville in the quarterfinals. This is a rematch of last year's title game with Lebanon taking it all in 2016. We had to get Sky 8 to this one. How about we open things up in the first quarter? Special teams playing a key role early. Wilsonville punting and Lebanon. Oh no, loses the rock. Fumble on the play. Jacob Herr on the recovery for Wilsonville. And that set up the Wildcats' Austin Ness. The kick is good. That man is money. He gives Wilsonville an early 3-0 lead. They go on to win it 31-7. They'll host and face Hermiston next Saturday. The Union Titans tore through Tahoma last week in the first round of the Washington 4A playoffs. They welcomed Sumner out of the South Puget Sound League for round number two. Up to McKenzie Stadium we go. Sumner started fast. First time they had the ball, that's Ben Wilson. Are you kidding me? Carrying players across the goal line for the score of the game. If you're wondering, he's going to TCU to play linebacker. Union down by 21 before they got on the board. That's Lincoln Victor to Alshon Taylor. Victor left the game in the first half with an injury and star running back Joseph Ciofele, he was banged up. He only played on defense. The Sumner Spartans, too much for the Union Titans. 42-14 is the final count. Meantime, Camus headed up to Spokane for a date with Central Valley. Whole lot of rain, so we picked things up in the first quarter. Central Valley getting busy. That's Grant Hannon. He keeps it himself. CB up, seven nada. Camus though, trying to answer. Kyle Allen, torn jersey, did you see that? Finds Drake Owen for six. Strong, but it was a tough night for the defending champs. Camus sees their season come to an end. 22-15, your final score. And we have much more high school football coverage available online. Just head to our website, kgw.com.